Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a kind of demo first impressions video on the Lush's Mask of Magnum Minty. I picked this up yesterday and I have been wanting to try it so I figured that I would film it for you and kind of give you my initial thoughts on the mask and how I feel that it performs. So basically um, what this mask does is it says that it's a face and back mask and it's packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby adzuki beans for deeply cleansing the skin. And when I uh, was looking at this in the store, the girl who was helping me was telling me that the beans are really good for kind of like digging out your pores. I know it's kind of gross, but it's kind of like an exfoliator and it really gets deep into your pores and kind of digs out um, any of your clogged pores that you may have, which I do have a problem with that, so I figured that this mask would be very good for that. And she also just said that it does a really good job at kind of smoothing out the skin as well. Now for the directions, it says how to use, um, apply to clean skin, avoiding the eyes and mouth, leave on for 5 to 10 minutes, and then gently scrub off with warm water. And it says that its top tip is that it can be used on both the face and the back during times of trouble or just as a regular maintenance routine. And so this is what the mask looks like. It's just a green mask and you can see the kind of chunks of beans and stuff that are in there. And it looks like it'll be a really good exfoliating mask because the chunks are kind of big. So I think that it'll be really nice for really kind of getting any dry skin off and also like cleaning out the pores and everything. And it smells really good too. It definitely smells like mint, but it smells like almost like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Like I don't like chocolate, I'm allergic to chocolate, but and it doesn't have any in there, but that's kind of just what it smells like to me. Alright, so I just got out of the shower, so my face is all clean, and I'm basically just going to apply this, kind of give you my initial thoughts. I'll do the whole five to ten minute wait and then come back and give you my thoughts on it after I wash it off and everything. So the consistency of it, it's actually, it's pretty cool feeling. I mean, my house is cold anyway, but it feels kind of cool to touch. And it's pretty thick, as you can see. It's a very thick consistency. And basically, I'll just put this on my face. It's definitely really cooling on the face. And when I put on masks, I really like to make sure to get up close around my nose because that's where I get a lot of my blackheads and along the top of my nose. So I always like to do kind of a thicker layer around my nose too. Alright, so that's what the mask looks like on. It's very, very cooling on the skin. It doesn't burn or anything, but it definitely has kind of that menthol feel to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait the 5 to 10 minutes and then I'll come back and we can see if it hardens or anything because like I said, I've never used this mask before. So I kind of want to see what it does and then we can talk about what it's like after I wash it off. So I will be back in 5 to 10 minutes. Alright guys, so it has been 10 minutes since I have applied the mask and as you can see it definitely dried up a bit and it feels pretty tight on the skin, which I kind of like because I feel like that makes it work a little bit better, I don't know, maybe it's just a my mind thing, but I like when the masks get tight because I kind of feel like it really does a good job at pulling out what's in your pores and everything. So I'm going to go wash this off and then we can see how my skin feels afterwards. Alright, so I'm back from washing my face off, and I really like how my skin feels after using this mask. Now, when I was washing it off, I noticed that um, the grains of the beans are actually kind of bigger, so it was more of like a gentle exfoliant rather than like an all-out scrub. Um, I kind of like that, though, because it didn't feel like it was really, you know, kind of beating up your face while you're using it, but you can definitely tell that it did work. Um, I noticed that definitely my blackheads did diminish. There are still a few, but I have a lot. It's This is my problem area, is like my nose and kind of around my nose. So I did notice that it did kind of like clear them out, which is really good. And I mean, that's the whole purpose of this mask is to really clear out your pores. And I think that it did a very good job. And what I like too is that my face doesn't feel dry. Now, I also use the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. And I do like this mask. I do find though that after I wash off my face, it feels very, very dry and just kind of very dehydrated. 
But with this one, I find that it feels really hydrated and I just think it feels very clean but still hydrated and not like it just sucked all the water out of my skin. And I do like too that it kind of got rid of some of the dry skin that I have around my nose and everything. And I just really like this mask. I think that it did a very good job and I'm definitely glad that I got the smaller size just to try it out, but I do want to purchase the bigger size. Now the smaller size contains 4.4 ounces of product and it does have an expiration date just like all of Lush's products because they are all natural products. And this one is actually good for quite a bit of time. I was actually kind of surprised. So it's best if used by September, which isn't bad. So you have a few months to kind of play around with this. And the smaller size is, I believe, $12.95, and the larger size, I'm not exactly sure how much is in it. I can put an annotation with how much product is actually in the larger size, and I believe that one was like $24.95 or something like that. Again, I'll put the price around here too, but I just think that it's great that they do have a smaller size so you can try it out, see if it works for your skin, make sure it doesn't break you out and all of that before purchasing the bigger size. I definitely think that this is worth it. I think that it's a great mask, and like I said, I really really like the way that it made my skin feel, doesn't dry it out, makes it feel very very soft. I really feel like it cleaned my face and it got a lot of my blackheads to go away which is a huge thing for me so I'm definitely excited to keep working with this and see how clear I can actually get my skin. Again, I don't have like super problematic skin with like pimples and all of that but I do have tons of blackheads and that's just my problem with my skin. So I'm hoping that this mask does a really good job and I'm very glad that I did purchase it to try it out. Alright guys, I really hope that you found this kind of first impressions demo to be helpful. Let me know if you have tried out the mask of Magna Minty and how you like it. I really like that it's um, you know, they fight against animal testing, it's all natural product. I really like that. I mean, I'm not huge into like using all natural things, but I mean, it's always good to add that into your routine, I think, and if it's a good product to boot, I think it's definitely worth it to purchase it. Alright guys, as always, please make sure to follow me on all of my social media networks. They're always linked down below. I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I also have a blog as well, and that is also linked down below. Okay guys, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.